free streaming services are growing faster than any other type of streaming service right now. In the fourth quarter of 2021, Peacock, IMDb TV, Tubi, and the Roku channel gained more new users than any other type of streaming service. Yeah, and as our Tubi TV review will show, it's easy to see why. The Tubi TV library is stocked full of quality TV shows and movies. There's even a ton of kids content and it's all free. A lot of the major production studios are creating free, ad-supported streaming apps. Tubi is owned by Fox, so its content library is deep. It has over 35,000 movies and TV shows, more than 95 local and live news channels, and content from over 250 entertainment partners. As you'll see in a moment, there are titles from every major Hollywood studio on the Tubi TV app. There's even original content that Tubi has produced. All of these factors make Tubi a legit alternative to Netflix in many people's minds. Tubi even has a section of content that highlights what it has that Netflix doesn't. Yeah, and in this Tubi review, we'll show you how to use Tubi and find something to watch. So let's dive in. Tubi is available on all the major streaming devices, so supported devices include Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and more, as well as Samsung, Sony, and Vizio smart TVs, and Apple and Android tablets and smartphones. You can also watch on your computer. We tested Tubi on our computers as well as through Roku and Amazon Fire TV on our Samsung smart TV and found the streaming quality to be excellent. We also really like the parental settings and kids content. There's an entirely separate section of content for kids on Tubi that filters out adult content, creating a safe space for kids to watch movies online and watch TV shows online safely as well. So let's get into what it's like to find things to watch on Tubi. Now when you launch Tubi on a TV, you'll see a familiar setup, a large feature title, followed by rows of content organized by categories like featured, news, popular, comedy, drama, action, as well as titles you've watched recently. To the left, you'll see a menu that displays as icons. When you click over to it, you'll see options like kids, search, home, movies, TV shows, my list, categories, channels, and settings. Now everything on Tubi is on-demand content, but it does all have commercials. If you're used to Netflix, this may bother you, as they can be frequent and annoying, but just remember, this is how Tubi makes it possible for cord cutters to watch TV shows and movies for free. Yeah, and if you want to cut the cord and watch TV shows for free, you're going to have to deal with ads. It's how Fox, in this case, is able to provide free movies, because advertisers are paying for your eyeballs. And Tubi says it keeps its commercial breaks at one to two minutes every 15 minutes. They say they show about four to eight minutes of ads per hour. On the whole, it really could be worse. Now, with that out of the way, let's look at some of the content on Tubi. If you access Tubi on your computer, the view will be a little different. You'll see a large image followed by rows of content, but there's no left menu. Instead, there's a menu at the top with options to browse, view kids content, view live TV, and search for anything. Over on the top right is your account. You don't have to create an account to use Tubi, but doing so lets you create a list of your favorite titles, which makes it easier to find something to watch. So let's look now at how easy it is to create an account on Tubi. We're gonna walk through creating an account on a computer right now, but you can also do this from your TV. Okay, you wanna open your web browser and type in tubitv.com. In the top right, you'll see an option to register or sign in. Click register and then enter your name, email address, and create a password for your account. On the next screen, you'll enter your age and gender. And that's it. Now you'll notice your name in the top right corner. There's a drop down menu here where you can view account settings, adjust parental controls, access Tubi's Help Center content, and even activate a device. You can also sign out here as well. One quick thing to say here about account settings is that from here, you can change your password and can also access parental controls as well as notifications in your watch history and my list items. This is also where you can delete your account. Yeah, and one quick thing to note about the notifications is that Tubi defaults to sending you a weekly newsletter. If you don't want to receive that, just uncheck the weekly newsletter box. And parental controls are also worth looking at quickly, as they are impressive for a free service. You know where to access them from a computer, but on your TV, you can get them from the settings option at the bottom of the left-hand menu. There are four options, ranging from R to G, and the default is adult. 
That's a great tip. Now let's take a look at what you can watch on Tubi. Clicking on the Browse option shows you right away just how much there is to see on Tubi TV. Let's take a look at the most popular category. Clicking on that brings up the most watched movies on Tubi. You can scroll down and when you find something you like, you can add it to your list. Clicking the play button starts any title. Once you launch a title, more options appear. You can go full screen, you can change the audio or viewing settings, turn on captions, control the volume, fast forward, pause, rewind content by 30 seconds at a time. Now let's take a look at the live TV category. Clicking that brings up more options to filter content below by all, sports, different types of news, and entertainment. Let's look at sports. We've got the NFL channel here. Clicking on that brings up a feed of content from the NFL channel. While watching, you can access the channel guide in the bottom left to click to other channels. But as you can see, this content is not actually a live feed, like you would get with a live TV streaming service or with cable. Most of the content on Tubi is on-demand content that they stream with ads. However, Tubi does offer some live local news feeds for free. It will automatically detect your location while using Tubi, and if a news station in your area participates, you'll have the option to watch a live local feed that way. Where we live, in Omaha, one of our local stations carries a feed on Tubi. But regardless of where you live, you can access any of the news feeds on Tubi. Yeah, that is nice. Now let's look at another area of content on Tubi TV that is pretty impressive, especially for a free service, Tubi Kids. As we mentioned earlier, Tubi Kids is a completely separate section of content, which is great because inside of it, parents can rest assured that kids aren't going to encounter anything inappropriate. Scrolling down, you can see there are a lot of decent titles in here and all free, which is pretty awesome. And when you click Browse, you can see all the categories of content that Tubi has for kids. There's anime, adventures, family movies, dragons, Lego, and so much more. And when your kids search for something in the search field, they will only see kid-appropriate results. Let's take a closer look at that search section. So we're going to type in house and see what comes up. In the kids section, we get a few titles. Now if we go out to the Tubi home screen and perform the same search, we'll get adult-appropriate titles too. That's pretty great, especially for a free streaming service. Yeah, it really is. Looking at Tubi TV overall, we think it is really a great free streaming resource. If you're looking to cut the cord but still want to access TV series and movies, as well as news and some sports content for free, it's hard to beat what Tubi TV offers. And it's not the only free streaming service worth checking out. If you're looking for other great free streaming services, watch our video on that topic. Yeah, and let us know what you think the best all-around free streaming service is. We think it's Tubi, but you may have a different view, and we would love to hear it in the comments below. Yeah, and if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next video.